doing? Oh, it's free Friday? Okay, 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 you can't. All right, you came to learn something. Well, me too. Me too. <laughs> All right. You know, we're going to learn stuff whether we like it or not. One of my first mentors named Bruce Gaffney. Bruce. Child of God, name was Bruce, said, I said, I, hey, this is what I want to do. And he, and I said, do you think it's a good idea? And he said, well, you can do whatever you want to do because you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? And I said, well, yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. And he said, okay, I got two things to tell you. Number one, don't drink and drug. Number two, you're going to learn from this one. <laughs> Yeah, he was right. He was right. He was right. So what are we going to learn today? Chameleon. Chameleon. The great Herbie Hancock modern jazz standard. Chameleon. It's a great number to get into if you want to start kind of entering the world of funk and jazz. Get, you still play blues right over it, right? It'll all work. It'll all work. We're going to learn a couple of different ways to approach the improv. And we're going to learn the head. Let's do the head right now. This is what it sounds like. Got a bunch of effects. I'll play it straight in a minute. One more time. song that's the whole number so what are the notes that was too fast <laughs> it was pretty fast we're gonna break it down note by note right here okay so check it out so first of all I have a G harmonica harmonica in the key of G and we were listening to a petty Music Studios, one of my favorite backing track channels, Petty Music Studios, backing track of the song Chameleon in the key of A minor. So now normally this song is in B flat, which puts us on an A flat harmonica. Now regardless of what key the song is in, you're gonna wanna play this song in third position. I promise you. Some parts of it are easier to play and cross, but some parts of it are really, really hard to play and cross. And although there's like one little note in this in this that's hard in third position, the rest of it is pretty easy. Getting it up to tempo can be difficult, especially the part that goes Okay. Let's learn the song. The whole song is in the minor pentatonic scale. So the first part is four draw, four blow, four draw, five draw, four draw. Just like that. Let's do it again. Again. Now I can play that anywhere I have that, and, and in third position I have three octaves of that, so I could play it down bottom, or up top. The hard part is here. It's this lick right here, which is part of the head. So it does that first part, and then it goes. Okay, so what that is is four draw, four blow, Three double bend, four blow, four draw. And you can kind of put a little inflection on the bend, it might help. It's, 
it's fast. What you want to do is avoid, you don't want to hit the three drop. Doesn't have that same meat on it. Uh, and then up to five draw, six blow. So here's what we have so far. Again. And now we get to the turnaround. Now this part's a little tricky, but it's not all that hard once you practice it slow first. But sometimes we gotta learn stuff slow and right. <laughs> we get it, we get it correct but we get it at a slower tempo. The temptation is to try to play it at tempo. Sometimes I'll try to learn stuff at tempos that are faster than even the song is. And I think subconsciously it's because I wanna be done with it. I wanna, I wanna say I know it so I can go work on the solo section or move to the next song or go watch TV or whatever it is. Instead of practicing it correctly, slowly, and then making sure that I got it right and then it getting up to tempo. But enough ranting, okay. Well, how's the lick go? It goes like this. Tongue blocked. <laughs> right back to there. That could have been better. Again. A little better. Last time, imperfect. That's it. This is one of the main reasons you're going to want it in third position. Because in cross harp, you're just going to run out of harmonica. Bado, I need, I need more harmonica down there. So why not do it in the second octave? Check it out. It, it'd be really hard. I'll show it to you. It's really quick. So it'd be, it would be, in cross harp, I'd have to play eight draw, seven blow, seven blow, six over blow. That's not even the hard part. Then six over blow, seven blow, six over blow, six blow. And then jump down, <laughs> hey, jump down to three double bend. Two draw. Much easier in third, and you get the chords. Plus that low motorcycle sound at a third position. Remember the first time I heard Alan doing it on a G harp, I thought it sounded like third position. Not Chameleon, but he was playing. I was like, man, that sounds like a motorcycle. It's the whole thing. I like those little partial chords. Dump truck in the back. In a helicopter? Again, last time. Here's that little turnaround. Right back to there. That could have been better. Again. A little better. Last time, imperfect. So now I'll just solo using both Dorian, blues, and minor pentatonic. Start with minor pentatonic. Mm -hmm. 
thought I was joking. You thought I was being nice. How many times? This guy, I had this guy, he got really mad about the ads on the video and he wrote, he wrote your, your content's not worth watching ads. He's like, how many times are you going to teach the blue scale? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll teach it until, until I stop learning about it because I'm still learning about it. Here I am in minor pentatonic after playing in it for 30 years studying it heavily for 15 and I'm still realizing I can get better at it we can always get better and what are these scales what are these chords they're fundamentals what do we practice we practice the fundamentals what do you see Tom Brady and Drew Brees and Patrick Mahomes and all these guys doing on the sidelines before a game are they trying to hit a receiver in double coverage from 50 yards no they're casually tossing the ball they're feeling it out they're checking, how's the wind today? How's my arm? How's that injury from last week? How's my spiral? How do I feel? That's what we do with our scales. We gauge, we learn, we mathematize. <laughs> All right, you could use a blue scale too. I'm assuming that guy who said that, how many times are you going to teach the blue scale? I'm assuming he can do that too. can use the scale this is really 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 meant for this I mean those are too but how about this one Dorian minor it's just an a major just a G major scale Improvise. Harp works 
in Dorian. That's it, man. That's it. Have fun. Have fun. This song's fun. Appreciate y'all. A lot. Hop over to Patreon. Check me out. Put up some new lessons there for Patreon. Patrons only. Special thanks. Shout out Petty Music Studios for this great backing track. There's also backing tracks on for Petty in B-flat. And also... There are other ones on YouTube, and those ones have the breakdown. So when you go, blah, 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 da, 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 bah, bah, the band will do it with you. Now, different people do this song different ways. Like lots of jazz music, it gets changed around. So you might have to, you know, kind of keep your eyes open on the bandstand, see what people are planning to do. All right? And if you call it, you better have a plan of how you're planning to do it so you can get everybody else to follow along with you. If you call the song, you got to be able to do it, right? Like Bob Dylan said, you got to know your song well before you start singing or playing, whatever it is. Anyway, you guys are terrific. You guys are terrific. I hope you enjoyed all the videos I've been putting up, lots of product stuff. Trying to get it all done for Lone Wolf and Blue Moon before Christmas. I appreciate the support. I want to remind you guys to be responsible. Don't buy stuff that I put up just because you think you have to have it. Like all these crazy pedals that I got going on. Y'all, I played for years before I even had one pedal. Then I got a delay, and I had that for a year, and I played for that. I never had a custom harmonica until I was already playing professionally, guys. And it was years after I was playing professionally. And you know what? I still had to pay for it. And what did I do? I bought one. <laughs> and then I bought two when I could afford it. I got a tax return one year, and I finally went out and got a whole set. But anyway, I just don't want you... I would feel terrible if you spent money you didn't have and you did it because you thought you needed this stuff. Here's what you need. You need to practice your scales on the harps and the equipment that you do have. <laughs> you need to practice your arpeggios. You need to stick with one thing. You know what? You don't, you don't even need a new video, right? It, it, it stick on this one for a little while or find another one or go back if you know if you if you struggle with the scale section or the dorian or the minor pentatonic or the blues in third well just go back to one of those videos maybe you're struggling in third that's i i did for years i played cross art for years before i played in third i didn't even know about it back then there was no internet that's how old i am my man city pulse said you're just old. He said, you're old and you're, and you're full of yourself. And uh, what did he say? No, you're, the world needs another old harmonica player. <laughs> yes, no, the world does not need uh, <laughs> to see you old YouTube harmonica player, City Pulse. But, uh, but I'll tell you what, though, man. I'm just trying to holler for a dollar, baby. Just trying to holler for a dollar. I'm sorry that, I, that, that, didn't, that you don't like that, but that's all right. Because guess what? I'm gonna holler anyway. I'm gonna holler anyway, and I'll tell you what, I'll holler. holler. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for the credits. credits. Thank you everybody for tuning in to Jason Ritchie's YouTube channel. 16 years of incredible YouTube harmonica related content. That's right, 16 years. At this point, over 500 free instructional videos. If you're interested in what kind of harmonicas I play, microphones, amplifiers, pedals, any harmonica related products, please check out my sponsors. These sponsors in one way or another also help keep these videos going. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Blue Moon Harmonicas, bringing you the best in custom harmonicas. We got custom cover plates, custom combs. You can get your name put on it, just like me. Reed work, refurbished pre-war marine bands. Look at that, they put the little brace there, no more crushing the covers. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, very best in pedals, microphones, almost anything you need 
for your amplified harmonica need. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, right here out of Ponchatoula, Louisiana. We got you. Harp gear, amplifiers, they got big ones, they got small ones, you know what they sound like? They sound like the best tube amps on the market. Harp gear, amplifiers out of Ocala, Florida. Pedal pad, pedal boards, incredible custom pedal boards built to last, made by two brothers who really, really care. Honer harmonicas, a moon cat loves the Honer harmonica. I like the Marine Band. I get Tom to put the little special 20 cover plates on it. He tricks them out, but they play great right out of the box. All of these sponsors are linked below in the description box. What else is linked below? Patreon. Consider becoming a Patreon patron. You'll be supporting me. You'll be supporting the cause. You'll be keeping these videos free for everybody. And you'll get a lot of extra content over at Patreon. You'll get vlogs, occasionally some extra lessons, some posts that you might not see on Facebook. A lot of stuff that I can't say or won't say here on YouTube is over on Patreon. I love my Patreon family. You guys are the best. If you're not into the monthly subscription, you can also give me a one-time tip at Venmo or PayPal below too. I'm a touring musician and I play all over the country, really all over the world with all kinds of different acts. Check out my website www.mooncat.org. In all seriousness, YouTube, Patreon, my sponsors have absolutely changed my life. Subscribe below, set reminders for the videos, don't miss any events. Every single Friday, there's a free harmonica lesson and a lot more. Even if you're just subscribing, you're helping me a lot. Those of you that are joining me on Patreon, you guys are helping me to make better decisions with my career. In all sincerity, thank you so much, YouTube, for just an incredible, incredible outlet. It's a video diary. I get to look back at 16 years at these videos. I had a lot of new friends, some really fine musicians, made some great contacts in the industry, and it's all because of you. Thank you, my harmonica family.